Hi, everybody. Welcome to another look. I'm Anthony Brown with Cynthia Barnes today. I also have Nicole Boy and our very special co-host for today, our producer, Jeff Phelps. Hi. How Jeff. you doing? Doing real good. Real Wonderful. Good. You know that we got a very special show, ladies and gentlemen. What? Um, what, this is what brings Jeff to the show. Uh, we are here to celebrate our 10th anniversary. Ten years. Wow. That's recent. That's a long time. <laughs> That's a recent so it yeah. is real special to be have been on the air providing you with information that you can use and all that other good stuff for, for ten, 10 years. I can tell you the very first show was very first show aired April 11, 2000. Wow. So I can tell you, only because it's my, wife's, but it's my wife's birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> you best remember. So we had the family all over, you know, she thought it was for her birthday, which it was. They were, right, said, right. So we had cake and punch and ice cream and all that, and afterwards about 8.30, let's go downstairs to watch TV. <laughs> and then we watched the show. That's nice. Yeah. Congratulations, so, Jeff. Thank you. So thank congratulations, you. Jeff. So and, let's talk and about Anthony's it. Anthony's been here since day one. So um, <laughs> I think 10 I came years, a long time. I came like day two or three. Don't, don't fool them. But <laughs> so how did we get started, Jeff? I know we started, you know, after, um, you know, there were some challenges. You know, you, I mean, you, 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 your mother had passed right. Um, right before we got started. And you had gotten this letter from Cable Vision at the time. Right, right, right. Well, basically, um, I started a video production company. Okay. And uh, so I had the tools to do it. And uh, I was telling my mom about this, you know, the whole nine yards. She was excited for me. And, and then she passed away. Uh, it, you know, I took it pretty hard. And my, and my older brother's in the studio now, and my younger brother's on this camera. Um, we all took it hard. We also took it hard that uh, we lost our father back in 86. So mm -hmm. losing both parents, you know, that was kind of devastating for, okay. for us. It's just three boys. And uh, so all of a sudden, I, I'm in a depressed state. And I got this letter from Cablevision. Uh, saying that I can be an independent producer and produce a television show. I mean, that was like the best thing that could have happened to me. It took me out of my doldrums and stuff. So uh, I responded to the letter, and, uh, and really the rest is history. But just to let you know about this letter, uh, I talked to the director. His name is Bruce Bonner. He sent out 60 letters uh, that particular time. You see, normally sent out 60 per year. Uh, normally 10 people respond to the letter. Five people may follow up and send him information that he needs, and maybe one person might produce a show. In that mm. particular mm. time, I was the only one. We were the only ones that mm. actually produced a show. So it, it makes us even more special. And uh, then and the other thing is that he kind of motivated me a little bit by telling me that chances are we're not going to be able to do this show because most people who try to do talk shows fail. Just don't make it, huh? Just, mm. just fail, mainly because... People lose interest. You know, after the first couple of weeks or months, they drop off. They like it, and you know, it's exciting the first couple of weeks, and next thing you know, they, they, oh, they lose interest. Anymore. So, wow. so for the most part, um, that motivated me. So I wow. felt like I need to pick so the you right, had to right. Pick the right uh, people, mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. members, and friends, and, and that's pretty much what I did. So when we do this rundown, if we can run it down now. Uh, Vince, go ahead and drop that clip. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Shout out my wife. My wife, uh, she, she wrote the theme song. She really named the show. Uh, and she liked the back. What are you looking at? <laughs> my brother, John, be, believe it or not, my brother, he got experience in film. You know, he, he came with us with, like, more experience than we, we had. Good family uh, friend, Ellery. And here's, Ellery's my cousin. He's my cousin. And, uh, and Ellery's like a brother. Uh, he's, he's helped us out tremendously. <laughs> And here's our booth announcer. Right. He booth came on as a booth announcer. I did not come on and to ended be up becoming a, a host of the show. Wow. And here's uh, Kelly. Remember Kelly? Kelly. Kelly, uh, she worked at Harpo Studios uh, wow. with Oprah Kelly. Winfrey. Wow. So she gave us a framework. And when she left, um, uh, 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 Judy, Judy took her came place. Along. Yeah. Judy yeah. Jones Judy. took her hey, place. Judy. And Judy's been like super helpful. Here's Catherine. my aunt. It's a family affair. Here's my aunt Catherine, uh, Catherine Phelps Garrett. So she helped out tremendously. <laughs> And here's my cousin Marlene. Marlene Wells. Marlene brought her whole family. So Marlene it was, brought the it whole was family. definitely a family we affair. We had a segment with Marlene at the end of the here's show. Here's my other cousin, Donna Phelps. Donna. Another first cousin. She came in. Donna didn't want to work on the camera. She wanted to work behind the scenes. So But we got her all in the blue moon. We did. Here's another Davida. cousin, Davida, first cousin. And Davida was like our uh, political correspondent. And here's, oh, here's all one of, of our them first in the group. sets. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and here's. <laughs> Yeah, look at how the show stuff. has evolved. Uh, evolved wait, look at the set. Where's this guy? His brother Bob, okay. Robert, Robert Smith. Bob helped me design the set. The too first early set. On. Yeah. yeah, the first set. Bob helped me out tremendously. Oh. And here's my cousin, Jermaine, Jermaine. the elder. Who's that's on camera, camera three right day. now. Yeah. 
exactly. <laughs> and that's Marlene's son. And there's Jermaine's girlfriend, Yvette Stokes. Uh -huh. uh, when Jermaine, yeah, when Jermaine she stopped been? coming, she stopped coming. <laughs> but she helped us out a lot. Nene. Here's Jermaine's sisters, Sharnice Wells, Nene, and Nene helped us out a lot. She was like one of the timekeepers. Right. Uh, here's David Bond. Now, where is he now? David's about to get married. But David, um, he was one of the camera guys. So okay. I met him in New York, believe it or not. Tommy. Oh. Tommy Polk yeah. uh, was our videographer and photographer. He was he the best. still come by and take pictures. Taking pictures. That was the best thing we ever did. Um, Shirley, Shirley DeAmper was our next door neighbor uh, when I lived on Monticello. So she was she something else. And Baby. Wow. Ooh, was the whole cast. Our first photo, our first group photo, the original <laughs> crew. This was taken maybe two or three years later. That but, was it. Uh, we were still cable vision and, and severance. Exactly. Lottie, our makeup Lottie artist. Lottie Collins, she came in and said, we need makeup and started making people, took her like a half an hour Baby. to one person. <laughs> but, and then when she left, Tamika, Tamika came took along. over. And, Tamika and they took, used to do a show called well, Help sure. I Need a Makeover. Help I Need a Makeover, yeah, right. exactly. Here's uh, Ken. Ken Stewart. Ken, Ken is with us now. Ken on camera Ken too. Is, yeah, Ken is helping us out tremendously. Ken comes in here and helps us build a set every time. He's like uh, one of the main. Brian Tutwire, my like, nephew. Tutwire, he's one of the newest members. Brian comes in, he picked up everything real oh, yeah. fast. Sierra um, just Sierra had her on the show recently. Wow. Sierra helped us out on yeah. another look at the movies, and she also uh, she's on TV Cleveland TV, TV mm -hmm. twenty. Yeah. This guy. TV twenty. Um, that's Scott Penniman. He's with CBS right now. Okay. And who's that? Hey, Nicole. <laughs> who is that? Nicole Ward. <laughs> Nicole was with us early. She, she left, and then she came back. And here's our most experienced oh. member. Right. I mean, she got Emmy Awards, oh. all nine yards. Who is that? <laughs> just able to sit next to Cynthia her. Cynthia Barnes. Just, here's Beneath the Barkley. Beneath, Barclay, beneath the Barkley. Spirit Finger. She used to be a uh, Chicago uh, Bulls cheerleader. Oh. Miss Ohio. And here's Miss Ohio. Melanie Murphy. Mm. Uh, Melanie was uh, a Cavs cheerleader for a while. And uh, Melanie, basically, now she's with WBN Next. Mm -hmm. And that's the only reason why she left, because uh, the contract forced okay. her to leave. Here's wow. our fifth reunion, our fifth year reunion. Right. Five year reunion. Uh, we got together for that. That's a photo for that group. Uh, wow. Yeah. You have yes. a lot to be proud yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, really. It's I been mean, fun. Yeah, and, you, and look fun. at the support that you've had. But let me but tell you, just so it was so ironic. When he, Jeff was here day one, I came about two or three. Mm -hmm. A real quick story about how I got involved with the show. Stephanie and I used to work together at the school system. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, you know, I have, you have a background in TV and radio. I said, sure. She said, why don't you come and check us out at the house? We're doing, a, you know, rehearsal taping. And I was sitting on the couch, and they were doing their rehearsal, the five ladies, like mm -hmm. kind of like a view kind of, sort of. <laughs> and it was like, well, the conversation went kind of like, well, the sky's blue. Yeah, it really is blue. It's a beautiful blue. <laughs> It'll be blue tomorrow. And, I, and I'm like, and I'm just sitting behind the camera just having a fit. Uh -huh. I'm just arguing like, this is boring. I'm like, I'm having a natural fit like this is not going to work. And I'm only coming as the booth announcer. I'm just going to do some on, just some. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, yeah. right. some voiceovers. Uh -huh. So Jeff said, okay, since you have so much to say, you get up there. <laughs> right. And, and you that, have something to say. Right. The rest is history. The rest is history. And you've had a lot to say. He's been there ever since. He's been there ever since. And he's you know, been so good. It's been kind of fun to be here. entertainment to the show. But yeah. you know, the, I think the true recipe to success is to have a strong foundation, Jeff. And like you mentioned, you, you had your family yeah. to mm -hmm. support yeah. you. And now it's the foundation. And I yeah. think that was probably the key yeah. to you lasting the 10 years that exactly. you have. So, so right. that's great. So that's right. great. Yeah. So now, Jeff, I know you have some wonderful footage. Yeah, run the next clip. Oh. Hey. This is it. This is the original intro. The Jack is at the Art Museum, the Cleveland Art Museum. And um, I think we got like halfway through the shoot. Somebody tapped me on the shoulder and said, uh, Do you have a permit? <laughs> of course, you didn't. <laughs> but they were nice enough to, uh, I don't know, this, I didn't drop that in there. But they were nice enough to allow us to continue yeah. shooting. I signed some papers and yeah. walking we did in. it. He just walked through. Remember, remember this? Remember this? Uh, oh, we used to actually walk on to the yeah. We tried this and worked. Um, but the problem that we had is that some people were quick at putting their lot of their mics on. And some of Others, yeah, we have had problems. So timing was. Now, mind you, I, didn't, I wasn't sometimes always in the opening intro because I did more of the entertainment segments. Mm -hmm. Well, I would come in and maybe do. Hi, everybody. Interviews. It's time for another look. I'm Stephanie Phelps, and I'm here with Donna, Davida, and Kathy. Hey, it's good to see everybody. Good. <laughs> yeah, that, that, those. And I guess oh, we can just get started. Oh, and that apple started. tree in the background. Yeah, yeah those were. Those <laughs> He's were in the good. apple tree in the background. <laughs> those were the good old days. Let's let's go right into the next clip. Um, Antoine Fisher. We. Um, mm. 
matter of fact, Stephanie was reading the, the book, uh, Finding Fish. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, and she found out that he was coming to Cleveland because they were shooting a movie, mm -hmm. you know, Antoine Fisher story. And so, and you were, you were in that yeah, movie, I right? Was. Yeah. What? Yeah. Ain't nobody told me nothing. You <laughs> was in the movie, girl. What part did you play? I only had a small piece, so you know. In okay, now he's running oh, the clip. Well, I'll, I'll tell you later. Okay. I will hear about it. And I was looking for my family at the time, and uh, I had found them, and I hadn't been there long enough to acquire any leave, so uh, they required me to tell them. Well, wow. I, I just want to say this, and let you finish on your story. Oh, um, the, the nice part about Antoine Fish is that that transitioned us into doing the movies, because mm -hmm. through that process, the movie was done by uh, Fox Searchlight, I believe, mm -hmm. and we met with the representative who was representing Fox Searchlight. And so, make a long story short, by connecting with her, she wanted us to start running movies on our show and trailers. She was giving us movie passes and the whole nine oh. yards. So it, it all started there. So that's how we got connected. Right. Mm -hmm. It started from that that oh, uh, connection yeah. with Antoine Fisher. But cool. even more than that, um, after we did that shoot uh, interview, Antoine invited me to come to their shoot the following day. They were shooting, I think, in the East Boulevard area, and uh, I went with him. Met Denzel Washington. Uh, uh, met Todd Black, who was like the producer uh, of the movie, and I hung out. I shot some video, the whole nine yards, and it was it was just great, just hanging out. That was fun. But no, mm. tell us and the story. Nicole, well, and, and, and what I was hoping got? to meet Denzel Washington. <laughs> 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 Didn't get a chance to do that, but I had a very small part in the movie. I don't know if you guys remember the scene where the little boys were sort of looking in the Sears catalog, and they was like, "That's my mommy. That's yeah, my mommy." Yeah. Well, I was actually um, the mommy that they were pointing really? to. Yeah. I've seen. Now so. I'm gonna go, no, go, I go back now, and I'm gonna go look for that scene <laughs> right. specifically. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Cool, Nicole. Cool. Great. Yeah. Great. All right. Okay, now. What else you got? The yeah. next thing. You guys know uh, Clifton Powell? Mm -hmm. You yes. ever heard of him? Mm -hmm. He's an actor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he's been in like a bunch of movies. He's probably been in over 100 movies now. But 10 years ago, we, uh, we had an opportunity to interview him. But we didn't think he was Clifton Powell. We thought he was somebody. Yeah, matter of fact, we thought he was... Eddie don't y'all get it brother. twisted. Yeah, you really? thought it was Eddie Murphy's he brother. Can we go ahead and run that clip? <laughs> run that clip if we no, can. I knew. I just played along with this, this lady. This is Clifford Powell. He looks Powell. like Eddie Murphy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we were at the Black Family Expo. And uh, this guy had done over 100 movies. But at the time, I think he might have done maybe five or six. But we're looking at him like, okay, who is this guy? And they're looking, oh, this is Eddie Murphy's brother. With the brother. Glasses, huh? This is Eddie Murphy's brother. So they're like, okay, <laughs> let's go interview him. <laughs> so I got the microphone, and I'm it's, like, y'all, you go first. No, you right. Go. The mic is dead right now. And so my cousin Marlene, and uh, that's her son, Jermaine, they get over there, and they got the courage to ask him for an interview. They're still thinking this is guys, Charles Murphy, Eddie Murphy's brother. <laughs> Anthony, who are you pulling back there? Like, Anthony oh, gave her the mic. Oh, okay. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> okay, he takes off the glasses. Uh -huh. and he was a nice guy, really nice guy. Are you ready? Hi, welcome to another look, and who? Oh, look and see what I found. One of my favorite actors. Tell everybody your name. Clifton <laughs> She didn't know who it was. Powell. I'm so, sure you've seen him in many programs. If you haven't, I have. How are you doing today? <laughs> she played it off. So she is playing it off so perfectly. Good to see you. <laughs> she think this is Eddie Murphy's brother. I wish you my agent. Well, we're in town doing, uh, next week we're going to be doing the Fabric of a Man uh, gospel play by uh, David Talbot at the uh, Allen Theater. Allen Theater. How long is the show here? Next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, and so Sunday. Be out there. Oh, definitely. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tell all your people. <laughs> That's everybody. <laughs> everybody in another look has to be there to play Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Allen Theater. Myself and Shamar Moore, Buddy Lewis, Cheryl Pepsi Riley. Oh, great. We'll be there. I promise. I promise. <laughs> She said, if nobody, like, I promise. I know. If nobody Marley, else is there, there. I'm going to be there. Gonna be there. Marley, I After you got his name right. <laughs> <laughs> and she gives him a hug. Hi, everybody. It's time for another look. And we're here at the Black Family Expo. And I'm here with Anthony Brown, Donna Phelps, Kathy Garrett, Marlene Wells, and Davida Russell. And we're uh, having a good time here. I, and I showed that primarily to, to say that our first three years, we covered everything. <sighs> Any event that occurred in Cleveland, we were there we were with there. cameras, uh, reporters. We covered every. It was crazy. I learned that that was not the best way to go, because <laughs> <laughs> it wore me out. Yeah. But but it was fun. 